Second. Mr. Mayor, if there's no additions or corrections, I'd go ahead and make a motion to approve the minutes. Second. It's been a motion to second. Any discussion? If not, all those to further motion say aye. 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 Any opposed? Item four, under communications. <clears throat> Mike Alstrup from uh, Brown Alstrup Performing Arts Foundation has a presentation of awards, <clears throat> and I'll pass this on to Mr. Schrader. Thank you, Mr. Mayor. It uh, gives me great pleasure uh, this evening to introduce Mr. Mike Alstrup from the Brown and Alstrup Performing Arts Foundation. I know Mel and I have had the pleasure of working with Mike, uh, Steve, and I think we've got some cast members here on hand tonight at various times, and it's always been a lot of fun. Um, all of them are obviously very extremely professional and talented individuals, and it certainly comes as uh, no surprise that the Brown Ulstra uh, Performing Arts Foundation has been recognized many times both within the state of Wisconsin as well as nationally. One such performance was a radio show about the Japanese Americans at Lake Lawn, which won a first place award from the Wisconsin Broadcasters Association, as well as a silver division award from a national fest festival. In the background, I know some of us, uh, all of us uh, on the council got a little bit of a backdrop as to this story, but for those that are here this evening or watching at home, to give you a little bit of backdrop uh, on this story and ultimately how it connects to Delavan, in uh, 1942, President Roosevelt issued Executive Order 9066, which ordered the removal of any person with at least 1 16th Japanese ancestry on the western coast of the United States into internment camps. In 1943, one of the then owners of Lake Lawn Resort, Jay Reeder, sponsored Henry Turu of Minidaka, uh, intern camps in Idaho, Idaho and made <clears throat> him a pastry chef uh, right here in Delavan at Lake Lawn, then Lodge, now Resort. This was uh, the start of a great chapter of Lake Lawn history as many more Japanese Americans left the camps to jo uh, join George and become, of the lake, uh, become part of the Lake Lawn uh, family. And uh, certainly this, this story, no doubt, is an important part of Delavan's history and one that today's citizens may have little memory of or perhaps never knew at all to begin with. So thank you to Mike, Steve, and the cast for telling this important story. And at this time, I'd like to introduce Mike to tell us more and make uh, that special presentation. Thank you, Mayor and the City of Delave and Council members. Steve Brown and I have been writing and producing radio shows for Revent at Lake Lawn Resort for several years now. Many of these shows are about Delavan, and it has been so interesting to learn about the truly rich history of the city and the surrounding area. We have been amazed at learning the stories of the Indian burial mounds, the circuses, the wall dogs, the history-laden shops on your main street, and of course, poor Juliet the elephant. <laughs> and we keep finding more stories, and that's how we found out about the Japanese-American internees who found a home here in Delavan. We stumbled across the story in a book about Lake Lawn Resort. We thought this would make a great radio mystery and all we needed was some more information. We searched everywhere and talked to anyone we could. We found nothing on the internet. I contacted Ryan Schrader and he checked and the Lake Geneva Genealogical Society and they checked and again, nothing. I went through the phone book and voter lists and, and looking for the eight names, Tsuru, Kasaguma, Namura, Yashikawa, Yamabi, Wada, Inoue, Suzuki, and Mitsuguchi that were listed in the book, but again, nothing. It was truly a mystery, and oh, by the way, we had a story to write and we were on deadline. So yes, in this 21st century, when we go to the internet for everything, I resorted to go to the library. <laughs> the librarian here in town was very helpful and showed me a couple of the drawers and bookcases with all kinds of old documents and maps and such. I went to the bookcase and what do I find? High school yearbook. And there they were, the children of those Japanese Americans. 
Of course. They went to school and played football and baseball and joined Spanish club and bowling club and forensic. And when the war was over, many moved back home to the West Coast. And those who stayed in the area went on to school in Madison and Milwaukee and got jobs in Chicago, just like so many small town kids moved to the big cities. What came through in the yearbook entries was that these families were at home here. They loved their lives at Lake Lawn, and they loved living like any other Americans. This is certainly a story about these people, but it's also a very much a story about the people of Delavan and of Lake Lawn Resort. The owners of Lake Lawn got those people out of the stark and dreary camp at Minnedonka, Idaho, to live on beautiful Delavan Lake where their kids could swim and ride their bikes and explore. And the people of Delavan welcomed and befriended fellow citizens the federal government insinuated would actually betray their own country. That was the mystery that made up our radio show and we uncovered the real people there and their story at Lake Lawn in the city of Delavan. This broadcast was recognized by the Wisconsin Broadcasters Association with a first place award for best significant community impact. Steve Brown and I would like to present those awards to the city, uh, to the city and to Lake Lawn Resort. With that, I'd like to ask the mayor and Alderman Schrader and Dave Sakaris of Lake Lawn to come forward and receive these awards we also ask that this story not be forgotten. Thank you. So, Mayor. Brian. Thank you, Mayor. And, and on behalf of Ron Alster for having me present the award to you. Thank you for your gracious fair way. pictures of the, of the, from the yearbooks, and I copied, or not for profit, well, we copied pic, pic, pictures out of the books, and you can go see them on our website. It's really good. Oh, sorry. I don't have any. 